So, imagine the first person that ever decided to eat an egg. Like, imagine how that thought process went down. Like, oh, this, this chicken or ostrich or whatever it was, just shit this thing out. I'm gonna crack it on a hot-ass rock over a fire and cook it and eat it. I don't know, man. The cavemen were a different breed. That was a really fucked group of individuals. That's all I'm saying. All right, what is up, guys, and welcome back. Finally, we're getting back into the Madden Diablos rebuild type of uh, thing. Is it's a rebuild slash story slash everything else. I don't know. Now, I'm actually recording this on Sunday night instead of Monday morning because I want to be able to just roll out of bed and start editing this right away. So we're going to try and get the recording part of this done. Ooh, we play the Vikings at the fire pit. One quick thing, guys. It is going to be Q&A time this week again. Any questions you might have for me, sports-related or non-sports-related, preferably non-sports-related, make sure to put them in the comments of this video below. I'm going to be reading through your guys' questions and picking the most interesting one for the next Q&A video, which will be coming out sometime this week. So, uh, apparently I got my apartment for when I move here in a couple months, so that's pretty cool. Now, when I was notified that I got my apartment, it really wasn't the most ideal situation, and we'll get into that right now. So, I'm not even gonna try and sugarcoat it with you guys. I'm a man. We're all men here. I was taking a shit, okay? Plain as that. I was taking a shit. And when I say I was taking a shit, not just your average shit. I mean, I was blowing up the fucking bathroom. Landlord calls me. I decided to hang up and just text her. I'm like, hey, right now is not the best time. Can we talk in like five minutes? Okay, so she must have not gotten my text message because she called me right back afterward, which led me to believe that it was something urgent, so I had to answer the fucking phone while taking a shit. Any guy is gonna know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about when I say I did the whole clinch. That was fourth and in inches, by the way. I didn't get it. Ooh, we got a safety. Sick. Okay. But anyway, as I was saying, I think any man or woman knows the infamous poop clinch. You know, when you gotta stop, you gotta hold it all in, so you just you clinch and you pucker up as tight as you fucking can. You guys can call me cringe or whatever you want. I'm just being fucking honest right now. So, I mean, I'm sitting there all clinched up on the toilet, and I'm like, yeah, what can I help you with? And the landlord was just like, hey, we really need a picture of your photo ID for us to hold the apartment for you. Can you please send it to us as soon as possible? And I was just sitting there like, yeah, sure, I would love to do that. I'll get that right over to you. And then she started talking about some, like, leasing details and stuff, and the phone call was kind of dragging on longer than I was able to let it to, and I kind of relaxed myself, and I took a shit. Now, I didn't really think that she was going to be able to hear the poop hitting the water, but like I said, this was no usual shit. This was an atomic bomb. So as you guys can imagine, the second she heard the shit coming out of my ass, she hung up the phone. So yeah, she hung up the phone because she could clearly hear me taking a shit, and then I had to call her back and awkwardly act like there was some interference in the phone call, and we both really knew what it was the entire time. I mean, I finished my business, I got out of the bathroom, I went and sat on the couch, and I gave her a call back, and thankfully she kind of acted like it didn't happen, and we both went on with our days, but... Man, the day I have to come face to face with her is going to be a day that I'm just not fucking ready for. Ah. Uh. So that story actually made me think of another one that I'd like to share with you guys. I'd like to tell you guys about the time I almost shit my pants when I was on a first date with a girl. Boy, this story is going to be fun to fucking talk about. So I was talking to this girl for a while, right? I mean, we were talking, we were going back and forth, and we decided, hey, we should probably just hang out for once and see how it goes. So we're like, yeah, we can hang out. That's definitely fine. What do you want to do? And we're like, oh, why don't we just go to a movie? I was like, fuck yeah, that's perfect. Movies are the best first date ever because you're physically with them, but you don't have to fucking talk all that much because you're watching a movie. Plus, as soon as the movie is done, you have a conversation for the entire ride home. It's fucking awesome. It's the easiest first date ever. Go to a movie. Now, before we went to this movie, we went to a place called Cold Stone Creamery. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what it is, but for those who don't, Cold Stone's like a gourmet dairy queen. It's like real ice cream, good ice cream. <laughs> Sounds great, right? Okay, well, I'm a little bit lactose intolerant. But, you know, first date, she has to go to Cold Stone. Yeah, let's go to fucking Cold Stone. I'm definitely fine with that before the movie. I didn't see it as a big deal. So we go to Cold Stone, we both get our ice cream, we eat our ice cream, and then we're on our way to the movie theater, and I start to realize something. My fucking stomach is bubbling. I mean, it was at the point in the car where she was definitely able to hear it if there was no music on. Like, my stomach was fucking doing the whole... Boo? 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 I, I don't know. That's, that's what it kind of sounded like, I guess. Oh, shit. He just scored. Wow. Let's go! So anyway, yeah, I'm driving to the movie theater with this girl on our first date. My stomach is going fucking crazy because I just ate ice cream. And in my head, I'm like, we're going to walk into the theater. I'm going to buy our tickets. We're going to find our seats. I'm going to tell her I'm going to go get the concessions. In the meantime, I'm actually going to go take a huge shit and then tell her the line was really long. I mean, come on, fucking 200 IQ, right? 
Now guys, my plan was working full effect until the point came where we were gonna go find our seats because she told me that she wanted to pay for the concessions and I was like, you know what? Any other time that would be normally really good, but right now I'm just gonna offer to fucking pay for him because I still don't want her to know that there's an issue. Okay, no. She was like, no, that's that's not how it works. Like, I want to help pay for concessions. Like, you paid for ice cream, you paid for the tickets, I can pay for the popcorn and pop. And I was like, fuck. Okay, that's fine. How about I go find our seats then? And unfortunately, the movie we were going to see wasn't a very new movie. So she was like, hey, I don't think it's going to be that busy. We could probably both just wait here and get concessions. It'll be fine. And I was like, fuck. Like, she had me absolutely pinched. I had no other options but to sit there and get concessions with her, which would typically always be fine except this certain situation. Let's go, Travis. <laughs> Elite. So I tough this shit out. I wait in line. We get to the theater. We find our seats, and I'm like, fuck it. I can't wait anymore. I just looked at her. I'm like, hey, I got to go to the bathroom. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. So as you guys can imagine, the second I get into the bathroom, one of the stalls is occupied, and the other one is out of order. So I'm like, fuck it, all right, that's fine. I'll sit in here and wait for a while if I have to. Like, I'm, I have to shit, there's no way around it. So I'm waiting in the bathroom for like 10 minutes. This guy is still taking his shit. He's not done yet. The other one's out of order. The movie is damn well started at this point and I've been gone way too long to the point where she's gonna start wondering where the fuck I am. That's unfucking believable So at that point, I realized I had no other fucking option. I was gonna go off to watch the goddamn movie with a stomach full of shit. So I make it through most of the movie without any problems. I'm able to contain this beast that I want to give birth to so I don't make too much of a distraction. And guys, it was fine until like the last 10 minutes of the movie, but the last 10 minutes of the movie, I was shaking like I was sitting in the fucking electric chair. For you guys' perspective, like I'm not kidding you, I was probably sweating. I had both my hands gripped on the fucking chair of the movie theater and I was sitting there like this. So we're driving back to my apartment and I'm just sitting there trying to keep quiet, not trying to make a scene or anything because if I say one word or move in the wrong direction, there's going to be a splatter in my pants that I can't control. So we finally get back to my apartment after this horribly awkward car ride because I'm not talking because I'm trying not to shit my pants. We get to the parking lot and she's like, hey, I have to work tomorrow so I'm going to have to get going. And I'm like, oh, that, that's fucking perfect. Yep, no, no love loss there. But then she goes, but before I go, I want to FaceTime my friend so you can meet her. And at that point, I was like, there's just no goddamn way I can continue to do this act. I must tell her what's going on because I'm going to explode. Now, thankfully, at this time in my life, I was pretty new to having my puppy. So I was able to use that as an excuse. And I was like, hey, you know, I would. I would love to meet your friend. But right now I've got to go let my dog outside because he's about to shit his pants. And she was like, oh, okay, that's completely fine. I understand it. You'll meet her next time. I'm like, yep, yep, sounds great. Gave her the super awkward hug she got in her car and left. And then I went inside my apartment and completely destroyed my bathroom. Guys, I still remember the sound it made when it came out. The initial blast off could have woken up the entire apartment complex. I mean, my hand was getting slammed against the wall and my eyes were rolling to the back of my head. I mean, it was one of the fucking... And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the story about the time I almost shit my pants. I didn't shit my pants. Uh, I don't talk to the girl anymore. That's not the reason why. We talked for a little bit after, but it just didn't work out. They tied the game up with five seconds left, huh? <sighs> if I had any more fucking time left. Here's the intro to overtime that you can't skip that takes longer than overtime itself. Later, bitch. Well, we won in this weirdly transparent ending screen here. All right, guys, that is going to be all for this Diablo's gameplay. I hope you guys like the, the shitty situations that I was in. You know, fucking literally. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to let others know that Wyatt's World is on YouTube. Make sure to submit your Q&A questions to me so I can get those in the next video. That'll be coming out sometime this week, I imagine, as well as a tight end tier ranking and maybe even another one. But other than that, guys, you know the drill. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.